Today I'm talking about getting on the ball or having a ball, right? Why do you want to use a ball to work out? It's just one of many tools that you should use not only to have fun because A, super important that you want to stay with what you're doing, but also effectiveness of different size, weights, um, textures of balls. Okay, so let's get to it. It's super fun. You've seen me warm up with a ball all the time. This one, I've got my knees bent. I'm taking the ball side to side for my rotation, my rotator moves. In everyday life, guys, we rotate. So you don't wanna do just a forward and back situation. You've gotta get those low back, mid back, upper back muscles to work. So that's great. Full circle's always a good idea. This is shoulder work. This is core, upper back, obviously going the other way. How about if I open up my feet and I go down to a squat? Now I'm incorporating my hips my knees, my ankles, my upper back at the top. When you take your arms up, pull those shoulders down. Okay, so nice, all of that works. You've probably seen me do this warm up before. I'm gonna back it up. Maybe a nice spinal twist lunge, okay, upper back. Make sure you're looking up and back behind you. Those are all really good. And then take yourself down. So going on the ball, feet wide. Take your arms up and back behind you. Look over your shoulder. Really stretch that low back. You'll also feel it in your upper back, your shoulder area too, really nice. And then this one, I love. Great way to stretch your lower back. Just roll, this is fun. Just roll on out and then curl your body in. You're gonna stretch your lower back this way. This should feel really nice. Press heavy on your shins to press back out to neutral, okay? So that is about five minutes, maybe 10 ball warm up. You've got lots of fun things to do. Uh, before you get going on your regular workout. You've done your warm up. Now you wanna make sure that you get your cardio, your fat burning on. So I'm gonna do some squats and then I'm gonna add a toss overhead. You might not see the ball go up, but trust me, you'll see it coming down. So just humor me because I'm inside. All right, so feet hip width apart. First put the ball at your chest, sit back. So regular squat, no big deal, right? So I'm coming down. I wanna make sure my elbows get to my knees. If I can, I want a tall posture of my upper body. When I come up, throw the ball, catch the ball, come down, up, throw the ball, catch the ball. And watch my arms. I get rid of the whole thing, okay? You can catch, then drop, stand, then throw if you're scared. You do wanna keep an eye on the ball. Don't let it hit you in the face. Really effective, not only for belly, thighs, booty, but also your upper back and arms. So it's a great workout. It's a six pound ball. Again, don't keep them outside. This one's a little squishy. I can grab it pretty easily. The other one, my hands are small, I can't. So know what you can do. I like to figure eight this in a different way. So I'm gonna bring it down into my hip and across my body. So this is gonna be a cardio move. Thank you, Michael Carson. Jump down, send it. Jump down, send it. Jump down, send it. Okay, so really nice way to get your heart rate up, twisting, rotating, you're getting your core, you're getting your shoulders. Pull it back behind you, send it outside. Pull it back behind you, send it outside. If you do that for a minute, your heart will be flying out your mouth. Okay, ball pull down, walking, another great way to increase cardiovascular activity, okay? Squeeze, I'm not gonna go right into the camera, but you got the idea. Way big stretch overhead, contract the belly, pull in, really cool. Ball through the leg, overhead, tricep extension. Ball through the leg, overhead, tricep extension, pretty cool. You can also do this with a partner, okay? If I handed the ball off between my legs, somebody else can take it, and take it over their head, tricep. Person overhead grabs it, sends it through the legs. That's really fun. I'll walk it over the head and then pull back behind you. So over the head, pull back behind you. You can power that move, slide all the way up, slide down, all the way up, slide down. Big reach, slide down. Again, one minute. It's fun to get the aggression out. This is a ball slam. So you have to have a surface you're allowed to slam something down. This is a leather ball and it's about 10 pounds, but you just pick it up and slam it on the ground. Pick it up over your head, right? So watch my body. I am twisting, rotating all the time. Heavy lift, use that belly and keep it tight, up and over. Yeah, grab it, up and over. You can 
can also do it straight on forward, up and over, up and over if you can't slam. That's still really hard. Over the head, pull it in, touch, touch in, roll down, all the way up, side, side, you can do that. You can come up, touch a toe, pull it in, overhead, all the way up, touch a toe, pull it in. Nice, you can take it under, over the head, under, really nice. Of course, Russian twist. Everybody loves those, right? So, not only is a ball a great fitness tool, it also helps your body, right? It helps your brain. Dr. Daniel Amon says that like things like pickleball, ping pong, tennis, anytime you're having to use your eye, hand, ball coordination together, that's a brain exercise along with a body exercise. So it's really a twofer. You are, well, maybe three. You're having a great time, you're working your brain, and you're working your body. So let's get on the ball.